it's taking so long to paint because I'm constantly trying to get rid of the smell just so that I don't upset people who are just trying to innocently enjoy their life because it is very strong especially the primer so I'm trying to come up with a solution where I can make a tent and eventually I will get air filtration systems and pads so then we'll have a giant face mask for a tent so I need to reorganize this place again but I got another tent that we could probably sell for like $150. Then I thought, I need a tent to paint in. I'm looking at a tent that's nowhere near as good and it, guess what it is, it's $150. So I'm like, why don't I just use our better tent and just not spend $150? So I'm gonna be using like one of the best tents ever. It's really, really overkill for what I wanna do. But in the long run, if you do the math, it's basically saving money. I hope this is my new painting booth. We don't want it to have overspray coming up out of the tent. We need to patch that to get outside of the garage door, paint in here. Close this side up and have it go outside. And hopefully the new water-based colors won't stink out the neighbors anywhere near as much because I care about people. I really hope that didn't go onto anyone's stuff because I guess he missed. But I've made other people's stuff orange. I just sprayed in there. Does it look like an Oompa Loompa? And I also went and bought water based spray cans. So we're not going to stink out the neighbors. This is a low odor. So it's got a matte black. I'm going to use this on the barbell. I had to go and change my whole idea about how I wanted to paint the filler bike. I really wanted to paint it the fluoro green, which I have. I have the squirts. If that red one smelled as bad as it did, how bad is fluoro gonna smell? So that's why I got this fan, but I just read the safety manual and I just am not in the right headspace to operate machinery. Uh, the water-based paints are amazing. The water-based orange smelled like Fanta. Um, a really bad spray painting job. Very bad, it's terrible. I didn't do good at all. But, you know, it was a free bike and I'm practicing. So I wanted to make a fluoro green to match the green that's on the plastic bit, but I didn't want to stink out everybody. So this was the water-based color I chose. A weird one, not gonna lie, but it's a no good job bike, so the paint job matches the bike. This tent that is complete overkill for what I'm doing is a luminous tent, so it's got a light. So we're gonna plug it in. It's got one of these, but I'm having a Doc Brown situation where the clock tower and the wiring is just not fitting and Paul Marty cannot get back to 1985. I'm pretty sure that this is the distance that Doc Brown had. That's pretty cool. It's not like the greatest of lighting, but it's some, oh, I've got an actual light. IP65 weather resistance, 1.6 meter power cord. Now that's the kind of power cord that we needed a moment ago. Let's see what $25 got us. It's a nine watt in foldable stand, a swivel LED head, a two hanging key hop. That's a lot of lumens. I guess it's just one lumen fits all because that's too bright right now. You just get all the lumens and this is a luminous tent. Retractive bugs. The idea here is to just paint something. tips when painting if you would like less smell on your schnoz for your neighbors um, is to put bicarb soda down now I've been using the same bicarb soda for like a week so it might not be absorbing anything anymore and water I've got four buckets of water you need to mop go so get some water on the floor and then the other buckets are just gonna be like placed around partition so nothing gets on the car while the car's in the garage cardboard should also absorb
it's not too bad. You can't smell anything out the back. But I did just open the door. I hope everyone's okay. I hope no one's annoyed. I hope it comes this way. That's all absorbing smell. Boxes are going to become paint absorbers. So I'm going to prime that. and then paint it a matte black. I usually get more nervous than this, but it's a very windy day where the smell will just go poof and it is early. Come on, it's 10.30 in the morning. This is a good time to spray paint. Uh, what worked really well was the buckets of water. So I got one bucket of water inside. I got two large buckets of water outside. I'm gonna pour one before I start and then another one after I finished. And then I'll fill those two up again and probably repeat that process. Use my mop bucket and I'm just going to put a lot of water all over the floor here. I put suds in there because, you know, why not clean the place at the same time? <laughs> 11.30am, I did see somebody out the back come have a look. Done everything I could to make it like not smell too bad, but this is primer, this is the worst. <laughs> So I hope they don't come and yell at me. My new system for painting is a good idea. Like wet the floor. Liters and liters of buckets of water outside. Should probably get more buckets. Sealing that up so that the mist falls down and then opening it up little by little. Doing the roller door three quarters closed with some cardboard to absorb it. Yeah, it stinks out here. So this is called the Royal Flush. This is when I like flush it three, four, three minutes or until I, I lose my nerve. Carriage open. That's open, that's open, that's half open. The reason that one's half open is so that the people behind the fence cannot see that the garage roll door is up. They can only see like the top half, so they won't. Maybe maybe it'll help them not suspecting it's me if they're annoyed. I just um, got oil-based paint, and um, if, if I do this system, it won't smell a thing. But the problem is, is on steel, I need to use the primer. The primer reeks, so I just googled, and you can actually find odors. Primer. So I'm going to go to the shop and get that. So the next time I do this, I'm going to have two different paints and both are going to be low fumes. Wish I knew this to begin with. This is how you get the bargains. Yeah, the guy came out with a wheelbarrow filled with free barbell weights. It was once $2,000 brand new. Anyway, I'm getting it for 20 bucks. Have you got anything else? You should always ask that question because he had heaps of stuff. 